Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. Today we're looking at verses 8 and 9 of Psalm 122. These are the last two verses, and we're going to begin, or rather, we're going to end like we began. So if you have your Bible, grab it, and let's go ahead and read. This is my translation of verses 8 and 9, Psalm 122. Because of my brother and my neighbor, I now say, Peace be in you. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. Now you'll notice that we're talking about still in peace. We're talking, you know, we've been praying for peace, we've been seeking peace, and now we're going to say peace. So our brother and our neighbor are going to hear us say peace. And it's not just the brother and the neighbor, it's the brother, the friend, it's the acquaintance. All of us in the church are related. We're brothers, we're friends, we're partners in the gospel ministry. We're seeking to publish in all the world to every generation the glad tidings of Christ Jesus. And so For all of us, we say to one another, peace be in you. And, of course, that's speaking to the heavenly Jerusalem. Let there be peace in the church militant. Let there be peace in the church invisible. Let there be peace in the physical Jerusalem. Let there be peace all over the world as men and women, boys and girls, come to know the Prince of Peace, the one who does reign on those thrones that were mentioned in verse 5 the ones to whom the tribes of the Lord do go up, the ones to whom are seeing that city built compactly together. You'll notice that our destination here is not the house of the Lord. I mean, it's not Jerusalem, but it's the house of the Lord. And that's how we started in verse 1. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Long before Jerusalem is ever mentioned, long before Jerusalem is ever a part of the conversation, before we even hear the name spoken here in the psalm, we're going to the house of the Lord. That's our true destination. Let's not confuse that. You know, let's not confuse that with Jerusalem either. The house of the Lord is there. And as I said on Monday, we're setting our GPS so that we can go from Meshach to Jerusalem. And we want to do that. We have a beginning point. We have an ending point. But where we're truly headed is to the presence of the Lord. Sometimes we can get those things switched up and we can think that the place is the destination, but it's not always that way. You know, you can have a great church that has a wonderful unity, has dynamic worship, has great fellowship, and has and has perfectly wonderful New Testament order because the thrones for judgment have been set there. But if the Lord isn't present, why do people come? Why do they come? If the Lord isn't present, what is it that's drawing them? Because it can't be a good thing if they're being drawn for any other reason. So the presence of God, the very presence of God, the house of God is our destination. And that's where he is because for the psalmist, that's where the ark is. And where the ark is, that's where God's presence dwells. And so we're going to Jerusalem, the city where he set his name. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's not glorify the city too much because the city only has glory in so much as that house sits there and the presence of the Lord is there. Because of the house of the Lord, he says there in verse 9, I will seek your good. And that's why we're going. We're going there because of the house of the Lord. And so my prayer is, let there be peace in Jerusalem. Peace for my brothers and my sisters, for my neighbors, for my friends. Peace in your walls. Peace in your palaces. Peace in every corner of your dominion. Let there be peace. And so I say that, and I mean that, Because that is where I am headed. I'm coming back to the Lord. Would you join me this weekend? And let's go back to the Lord. Let's seek his presence. Let's seek his face. Come with me and let's join together in worship. I hope you'll see me again next week on Monday as we look at Psalm 123 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. 
Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.